Welcome, welcome to Ant, Angel of Nicoleta Design. In today's episode, I'm talking about BetterHelp and the onboarding process on the desktop app. Let's start reading. BetterHelp and its onboarding process for desktop. How good is the user experience when it comes to online therapy? In my previous article, I mentioned how my interest in therapy and its alternatives had grown recently. I even went as far as completing the onboarding process for the BetterHelp website to check how easy it is to get a professional help with their platform. So what's BetterHelp, you wonder? BetterHelp is an online platform that provides individuals, couples and teens with an option to sign up for unconventional and comfortable professional therapy. Quote from their website. Making professional therapy accessible, affordable and convenient so anyone who struggles with life's challenges can get help anytime and anywhere. End of quote. The company was founded in 2013, but when I first heard about it was during the times when we all spent so much time indoors and in front of our screens, and when we all desperately needed connection with others in a much more needed way to vent. I heard about the platform through a YouTube channel, a TMG Podcast or Tiny Meat Gang, if you ever heard about them. Uh, that also does comedy and podcast episodes on pop culture topics. They also offer a promo code if you're interested as well. While doing my research, the first thing I wish they would include was a back button, so I could change some of my answers with more accurate ones, for example. It is understandable that for a better match with a therapist, you need to provide lots of information, hence the long onboarding process but i expect that the designers were thinking also of how accurate that information can be especially near the middle and end of the onboarding process when i personally just clicked the answers quickly because i skimmed through them also nowhere did i find or remember reading anything about how important this input is and if i can change it at any time hmm recalling the process so i deleted my profile and started the onboarding all over again for science i ignored the login option the first and second time and went straight forward to the hero section where under the headline you deserve to be happy was a prompt question what type of therapy are you looking for i pressed one of the ctas or call to action buttons labeled individual for myself and started the onboarding process that is described as short questionnaire which seemingly has eight steps before consenting and giving my sensitive protected data under the eu laws i don't know why but they also put it in the single quotes i read the sentence where it says Your answers will give the therapist a good starting point in getting to know you. So, my answer's accuracy is important, right? Bullet point. Starting with the gender identity question. Options are woman, man and more options, including the choices prefer not to answer and other if you still don't like to answer. The second question is about your age and it's combined with an accurate drop down of numbers not ranges and some random fact about depression while i'm still in the first step out of those eight i mentioned earlier so the progress bar actually doesn't help me anticipate the end of this process at all at this point the third question is phrased as how do you identify when you ask about your sexuality more options are available too Fourth is about your relationship status and gosh, I'm still stuck on the first step. How much more it is left until the end? Slowly starting to get anxious and overwhelmed once more. Short and sweet yes or no question if you are religious. No other details, by the way, or options for that matter. I wonder if it is the only question related to something as important as a belief system. 
Here it is, three main religions are given as options. Another info prompt under the options says that the therapists are from very diverse backgrounds and I can request a Christian therapist if I want. Shaking my head in millennial European. And here comes my frustration as a user. I click the fourth option labeled other in expectation to see if I can type or choose another religion, but instead I'm forwarded to the next question. I want to go back and change it. I do hit the back button on my browser and please guess what happens. Yes, I'm back to the home page with all previous inputs discarded. In desperate hope, I click the CTA labeled as individual again in some kind of naive hope that I will be returned where I left off. Well, I'm back to square one. Am I a woman or a man or do I fall into the more options? To be summarized, a warning that my inputs won't be saved if I go back or an internet error occurs would have been nice. I think any user would appreciate a heads up of any sort when it comes to an important yet lengthy process like this one. Very few of the questions truly are important for matching you with the right therapist. In my opinion, the predominant number of questions are merely to have a better insight into their users' backgrounds and not to forget their marketing purposes. The rest of the questions are for accurate calculation of your subscription plan. I just wonder why they chose to crunch everything in one. I wish I have timed my first attempt for completing this process. Unfortunately, creating an account happens further in the questionnaire, so the only option for now is to push through it. Sorry guys, today, Friday, late afternoon, Science and patience were with me only until here. Maybe you give it a try and let me know how easy and seamless the experience is for you. Also, maybe they change the design. P.S. To give you some heads up, you will receive a message from your therapist when you are matched with one and if you complete it. But before you participate in the conversation, you will hit the paywall first for a weekly price payment built every four weeks. Good luck and thank you for reading and listening until the end. Conversation starters for the comment section. Do you know other alternatives to traditional therapy? Do you use any other online service or platform? What is your experience with it? Is therapy still a taboo topic in your country or region? Please leave a comment in the comment section and let me know. Thank you for reading, consider giving me a follow or subscribing for more interesting articles. Your comments and feedback keep me motivated to write and talk more and also improve. Have a great week. P.S. If you want to be part of my curious and meaningful journey, you can find me on Instagram at Angelova Nicoleta Design and LinkedIn with Nicoleta Angelova. See you in the next one. Bye.